Hey, welcome to Amsu. Congratulations on getting into the University of Melbourne. I know that you've worked so hard to get here, and yeah, congratulations. So we're Amsu, and we are the University of Melbourne Student Union, which is pretty cool. And we do a lot of things for you at the university. Um, so I'm James. I'm president of the Student Union. Thankfully, you guys are all part of Amsu automatically because you're students at the University of Melbourne. All students at the University of Melbourne pay student services and amenities fee, which contributes to your membership for UMSU. Now, like, I know that you might be wondering, what's a student services and amenities fee? Like, do I pay it? Do I not pay it? I don't know what's happening here. So in your student invoice, you'll get a line that says student services and amenities fee. Last year, it was like $283. So you don't have to pay that now. You can defer that, which is pretty cool. That's what I'm doing. And future James is paying for a lot of my fun that I'm having at University of Melbourne, which is pretty cool. UMSU offers a lot of opportunities for you to get involved while you're at University of Melbourne because you have a lot of time to do other things while you're at uni. For example, clubs and societies. There are around 200 clubs that are affiliated to UMSU at the moment, which is great. So 200 clubs means that you can pretty much find any club that has something to do with your interests. With 200 clubs, there's bound to be something that has your interest. Whether you're interested in chess, there's a chess club. Whether you're interested in making movies. Whether you're interested in watching movies. Whether you're interested in arts, barbecues, chocolate, wine, beer, all of that. They're all part of, they're all clubs based on them that are part of University of Melbourne Student Union and affiliated to. So whenever you go to a club event, which I'm sure you will happen to throughout the year, you put your name down on the green sheet, then you'll get that club some money for, from UMSU to run that event, which is pretty cool. Like free barbecues are great. Free food is great. Free alcohol is even better. Although clubs are one of the largest sections of University of Melbourne Student Union, they're not the only section. They're just one department out of the whole organization. Another department of UMSU is the queer department. They run events specifically for queer identifying students, and they also run and maintain the queer space up on level three of Union House. This is a safe space for all queer students to feel welcomed. The women's department at the University of Melbourne Student Union also runs a mentoring program for women. This mentoring program pairs a postgraduate student with an undergraduate student so that they can have an academic role model for the future, which is really important for a lot of people to have someone that they can look up to in regards to their academic future. The Women's Department also runs the Women's Space, which is up on level one of Union House. This is for women only or people that identify as a woman. And it's a safe space where you can feel, again, welcomed when you enter the space. The next department I'm going to talk about is the Education Academic Department. These guys run the Student Representative Network, or help to run the Student Representative Network, which, has, which ensures that students are represented on all levels of the university governance, so that the major stakeholders of the university, which are inherently students, have a say in how the university is run and how the academic programs are run. Another one of the things that the Education Academic Department runs is the Counter Course Guide. Kind of course guide gives you information from students about whether the subject was good, whether they enjoyed it, whether they didn't enjoy it, why they didn't enjoy it, all that kind of information, which is really helpful. I've been in circumstances where I didn't really enjoy a subject, submitted a review, and it got published, which is pretty cool. Um, or not cool for the subject's sake, but yeah. The advocacy and legal department at AMSU help represent students. The advocacy side of it is definitely when there's problem between the university and the student, so if there's some academic misconduct or something, go and see the advocacy service on level three of Union House so that you can get acquainted with what you're in trouble for necessarily and what the best way of going about that trouble is. Other than that, the legal side of the advocacy and legal service is a free legal service, like a community legal service, and they can give you advice on a range of different issues, ranging from Housing help, so like rent advice. Also, if you get into monkey trouble, like if you have a monkey fine, go and see the legal team. They'll 
help as best they can in your situation, and they'll help best they can in any situation that you're in, which is great. Next on the board, we have the Indigenous Department. This department runs activities and events for Indigenous students, as well as they produce a publication every year called Under Bunjil, which showcases the student's artwork, whether it's artistic artwork or whether it's an article they've written about something they're passionate about or anything like that. The Indigenous Department also helps to run the Indigenous Games for University of Melbourne. So if you're an indig Indigenous student and want to play some sport and represent the Indigenous side of University of Melbourne in that area, then go to the Indigenous Department, talk to Tyson or Emily, they're pretty cool. Um, so International is the international representative side of University of Melbourne Student Union, which is really cool. They represent all international students at the university and they run events and workshops and stuff specifically for international students. Their offices are located on second floor at the very end and you turn right. The Education Public Office runs the outward facing side for education for the University of Melbourne Student Union. So, for example, if there's any rallies to do with education or anything like that, for example, deregulation of student fees over the past few years, the rallies for University of Melbourne were organised by the Education Public Office because that's a really important and integral part of being a student union. The media office is a huge part of UMSU, which is great. They run the radio up on the fourth floor, which is a internet radio service. So if you want to run a show or anything, get in contact with the media offices at their office on the first floor of Union House. Other than that, they also have a student magazine called Frago, which they publish four times a semester, which is a really good read. If you're wanting to publish something in a student magazine, that's something that you really can do at University of Melbourne. And it's great that we have a student publication just like that. All the editing, all the articles, all the artwork is all created by students. So it's a really amazing opportunity. The last part of the media department is the video side, which is great. I'm having some help today, in fact, from people involved in the video side of the media department, which is amazing. And they're really talented. So if you ever have anything that you would like to put into a video format, express your artwork skills in video, then contact the media department as well. They'd love to hear from you. The disabilities department is next on the list of things for me to cover. So the Disabilities Department runs events and they also run workshops for people with disabilities or for people to help understand some difficulties with people with disabilities, which is great and informative for all members of the university, as well as students that are facing disabilities to have a support network, which is really important. The Activities Department runs a wide range of activities throughout the year which are all amazing and inclusive. All of the activities run by the activities department are subsidised by you. Cheaper. Um, other events they run through the year include Oktoberfest, cocktail parties, trivia nights, and free barbecues every Tuesday afternoon. So free barbecues on every Tuesday afternoon. They have free soft drink, free sausages, free veggie burgers, free alcohol, and often a free band that plays which is amazing. Like, how many opportunities do you have to watch a band for free? And they can be quite good as well, and it's all subsidised by your staff. Next up, we have the Environment Department. The Environment Department advocates for the environmental stability for University of Melbourne, as well as creating some environmental awareness for students at the university. One of the things that they run is the Bike Co-op, which happens every Tuesday morning, which is an opportunity for people to ride into uni Get some free breakfast, which is always amazing. Like, so many people forget to eat breakfast in the morning or don't have time for breakfast in the morning. So it's amazing to have an opportunity for free breakfast, as well as some fitness, riding your bike to uni and saving on fossil fuel use as well. Another one of the events that the Environment Department runs is Play With Your Food, which happens every Tuesday night. And during Play With Your Food, you help to create a sustainable meal, which is normally vegetarian or vegan. And this, 
So you help create the food and then you eat the food with all the people that help to make the food, which is good. It's fun. It's also a free event. So, so many free things you can get from University of Melbourne Student Union. Creative Arts run a biannual event called Mudfest. This is about a two-week festival which showcases creative art from students at the University of Melbourne. I've had friends that have performed in shows for the first time during Mudfest or created a screenplay for Mudfest, which is amazing work. And everyone puts so much effort into it and it's amazing to see how it pays off. Other than that, the Creative Arts Office also runs events in the Arts Lab up on third floor of Union House, which is a pretty cool space. You can hire out the Arts Lab from InfoDesk. Um, but also they create, they have workshops and stuff. For example, they have a life drawing class, which is a really amazing experience. Yeah. Union House Theatre is an amazing place. They have a lot of clubs, theatre clubs, that they have affiliated to them and they help them create plays or musicals for University of Melbourne students. This is one of the theatres we're in at the moment, or I'm in at the moment, that the theatre runs. So they have a lot of shows here and they also hire it out for other organisations to use if they need. Um, another one of the theatres is Guild Theatre, which is a black box theatre, which is pretty unique, in fact. It's entirely black apart from the exit signs, which are there for safety reasons. Next up is the Rad and White Library. So this is library that's a recreational library. There are signs that, play, that say, please do not study. Please don't study there. It's a recreational library. It's for your fun. It's a fun library. They've got comics. They've got novels. They've got a beanbag room, which is awesome. Game of Thrones screenings when it's on, 11 a.m. It's the most amazing atmosphere for that. So if you have opportunity to change your timetable for Monday 11 a.m. Make sure you don't have class during that time. It's an amazing time. Next on the board we have George Patton Gallery which is a free gallery that is on level two as well of Union House. They showcase students work. A lot of that is from the um, South Bank campus of University of Melbourne which is pretty cool. Um, it's a good opportunity that they have to to showcase their work. They have six shows throughout the year. Last but not least, I'm going to talk about the volunteering opportunities that we have at University of Melbourne, U University of Melbourne Student Union. So a lot of departments often need volunteers for all the work that they do, which is great, and anyone can get involved in them. But we also have specific programs that are run through UMSU that are for volunteering. For example, VC Summer School, where we tutor disadvantaged VC students so that they can reach their potential. Also, this helps students at the university so that they can have some tutoring experience if they want. If they want to work out whether they want to go into teaching, it's also a very accessible program that they can have a, have a go at actually teaching, which is quite unique. Another one of the programs is Destination Melbourne, which is a three-day and two-night pre-orientation program for incoming first-year students, mostly from disadvantaged backgrounds as well, so that... Mostly, they won't have very many friends coming to university, so it's a chance before orientation to go and meet a lot of friends and learn a bit about the university, as well as learn a bit about Melbourne as well, because a lot of them will come from regional interstate areas. Cool. Thank you for listening, by the way. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me, or always go to the info desk at Union House. They have a plethora of information for you, so please feel free to go there and utilize that service.